In this week's speed build, I asked a fellow YouTuber if I could build her a palace for her Royal Series Let's Play. The conversation went like this. Hey! Hey! I was in your stream recently and you mentioned that you wanted a new palace for the Brindleton Bay Royal Family. Is this still the case? Oh, yeah, of course, that'd be great. I think I have an idea. However, how do you feel about using Felix Andre's custom content? Oh, well, I do have his custom content. Oh, awesome. I see what I can do, and let's hope you like it. Oh, okay. Only if you're sure, though. Absolutely sure. What colour scheme? Blue, white, and gold? Yes, if possible, that would be great. Right. I'd better get started, then. Take care. Bye. Okay, bye. I'm looking forward to seeing it. And this is how it turned out. 2am in the car playing my favourite song it up, windows down, we sing along. Oh my god, this is amazing! Oh my god, I love it so much! Oh, wow. oh, this is so cool. Oh, you did such a good job with this. Oh, thank you! Let's have some fun. Oh, this is everything with you right next to Hello and welcome back to this very exciting speed build in collaboration or partnership or whatever you want to call it with Myra Ray. Over on her channel she has got this royal series where she has a, like several years of uh, let's plays where she takes the lives of uh, like the different maps and different worlds is different royal families and she has affairs, dramas, deaths, marriages, romances you name it, it's got it. So if you know if that sounds like your sort of thing, then please do check it out. Another huge shout out I want to give out to is Felix Andre, and for his custom content, otherwise this build wouldn't have been possible really. I did try a uh, custom content version, as you can see over there, but for me it lacks the detail that, it, that I had with the custom content, and that being said, thank you. As you may have noticed, I have recently changed my setup around a little bit. I'm stood up, which is nice because my chair is really noisy. As comfortable as it is, it is rather noisy. And there is normally a cat there when I'm stood up talking. When I'm not sat on it, a cat's normally there. But I think he's had enough of me talking to someone else and not him. So there we go, making him jealous a bit. So that's your fault, that is. So what can I say about this build, other than that I'm incredibly proud of it. I had many different versions, I'm going to put them on the screen now as well. Uh, just to get where I got to with this palace, the first couple of times the aesthetic of them was beautiful. I, I had different colour schemes, the first one I did was a blue and white and gold one like this one. The second one I varied a little bit but it looked incredible. However what they all lacked was well, layout and a decent floor plan. I would find that rooms were oddly shaped and cut out and it wasn't it wasn't very good inside and I was very conscious of the fact that Myra Ray, she likes to take really aesthetically pleasing shots that she wanted to use this palace for you know, her channel. So I needed to really like celebrate and get the opulence of Royal Palace, but without going too crazy if that makes sense because I don't want it to then take half an hour for her to load up so I think this is performance friendly as well which is always a good sign so what I did is I started with taking the aspects that I liked from the other builds and moving them into this one for instance the first one I've started working on here was the gazebo and I just thought this would be brilliant to look over at the lighthouse and the, the sea and get proposed to there you have a secret kiss with a former lover or a new lover depending on what you want to do and the little bump out bits as well with like the glass roofed balconies i thought they would be absolutely incredible to sit there paint a painting get inspired play some chess it's just with all those views and inspired for some like dutch style and norwegian style palaces I just felt like I had to copy it, I had to incorporate this somehow. So going back onto the topic of the custom content, so of course I used uh, a lot of the windows and doors in this place and I used a couple of uh, walls as, uh, wallpapers as well and of course all the decorative items. 
So if you don't have all of Felix's items, then things will disappear. They will not show up in if you download this, which is available both non-custom content version and custom content version are available on the gallery under the same username as the YouTube channel, Lord of Crumbs. But I am a patron. The only, that's the only way you can get access to his custom content is if you are a patron. And I do pay the top tier, so I do have access to all his previous months and the current months coming up. So, and I'm quite happy to pay that. He's a brilliant creator, so if you haven't checked him out, then please do. His link will be in description, as well as Myra Ray's YouTube channel, where you can go check her out and watch all of her palaces. I just want to say, a side note here, Myra Ray is one of the like, nicest YouTubers you've probably ever come across as well. Uh, she will try and respond her best to Instagram tweets. She's very active in the community. She is definitely one to look out for and keep an eye on, so please do, please do go check her out. During the speed build, you will see that I will furnish three or four bedrooms. I didn't record them all because, as I say, they are furnished basic. So it's like the kitchen is base furnished basically, um, because I didn't want to overfill it with decorative items. Mainly because I was conscious of the fact that all the decorative items all around the outside and the inside, the new doors, the new windows, the new everything. So I wanted to make sure that it was all combined and performance friendly. However, the custom items I have used from his collection are the sofas, curtains, um, what else? I can't think what else. Oh yeah, fireplaces. How could I forget fireplaces? With my normal speed builds, I do tend to build several versions of the same castle or the same building or the same uh, house community lot whatever you want it is whatever build it is I tend to make it um, again and again and again so I really really know the style however this build I sort of worked like I said before worked room by room and just adding on does that look good does that look good mm, okay no that doesn't look good it did look good but doesn't look good anymore so I, you will see things I've placed now but then later on in the video, they might go. So if you notice that, then kudos for Key9. But also, well, you you know why I've deleted it because once I've expanded it, because the whole front courtyard, I originally like boxed it all in. But when I was like, why is why am I boxing this in when the plot it's on has already got like a walled fence all around it? So that doesn't make sense. I thought there'd be some sort of protection there with those wall vents, so I just thought, you know what, I'll just do it around the building, and that really opened the front garden out. And you may notice the front garden isn't actually furnished that much. And because in my head, um, like with real palaces and real gardens, it's a two-tier layering system. So like the nobles, the royal family, they'll be on like the top tier socializing, and at the bottom of the, the stairs, there should be like a rope or something, so that the not so high nobles and the not so you know, royal members will be down there so they can still be invited to the parties and stuff like that. It's all for garden parties, tea parties and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully that can be recreated in The Sims 4. With the ballroom I did have to do a bit of uh, finagling around with the columns and the fence posts and the de deco items because I wanted it all to be have this like red, gold, white like colour scheme and all that sort of stuff. And in order to get these certain deco items, they had to have these certain objects, so I did have to move it all around. But like I said before, it's it was just a constantly growing scenario where I just cut, like kept changing and upping it. And in the end, I am very, very much pleased of the end result. You will notice I do put some custom content chandeliers in. I at this point of the video, I was. Um, tweeting with uh, Myra Ray DMing her and then I said hang on a minute so you don't have to don't, like don't have to use all of the items because I don't think she has them all but so you don't have to use them all I'll only use a certain items and then she used like a program to go in to see what items she actually needed to put into her game and keep into her game so that was all very new and excited for me because this is my first officials finished speed build well build at all actually using custom content so I hope I did all right I hope I did it proud I had um, a tweet from Felix Andrew Sims himself on Twitter there it is but that was quite a nice uh, memento because if you don't follow me on Twitter I do when I do videos I want to start doing like little snippets of videos and I want to put them 
on Twitter just before like the main YouTube video comes out, just so that people can see what they're expecting to see. I know I keep saying it every time, but I want to get back into this YouTube grind, and I do. I really do. But at the same time, I want to mix it up a little bit. I don't want to do the same sort of speed builds. I don't want to do the same sort of videos that everyone else does. So I'm trying to think of what I can do to mix it up. And that makes me have the delay on speed builds. And also, I'm still working. Have been for the whole lockdown. So I hope you're all staying safe in this build. As I say, I like how it looks. I like the colours. I like the aesthetic of the build. However, I wish, I wish we could have bigger lots. I know 64 by 64 is huge itself, but I would love to do an absolute massive, I like four times 64, 64, whatever that number is. I would love to do that. So then I can spend two thirds of it doing a farmyard or doing a, like, a mowed lawn and a proper hedge maze and getting some proper garden spaces, like building a little sh like chateau in this huge, vast area. That's what I'd love. That's what I kind of miss about Sims 3 Create at all, is that I would be able to create several large lots around one big mansion and, you know, combine. That's one thing I wish that Sims 4 had, is a creator world tool. Yorkie, the Yorkie lad, Billy, we, we talk about it all the time. We, you know, share our wants and dreams for Sims 4 because it's such a good game, but we would love it to be just that little bit more. And giving us a creator world tool. We don't even need to move like the land or, you know, place water. Just the option to give us like a like a base version of all the worlds that we can go in and add our own rocks to and our own plants to and our own like deco buildings and placing our own lots. If you can't give us anything, just give us the ability to place our own lots. Please. One thing I will mention about this build actually, before I move on to, you know, a random tangent and go off on one like I normally do, but I did create my own custom content paintings, which um, will be included on the, the gallery version. So I will leave a link to those, they're going to be a media file link, um, they're not going to be called something inside, and it's going to be larger, larger portraits and portraits. Um, and that just basically means when you see the, the fly through in the beginning and you notice those character images and you know the portraits and a picture of the old manor, the old palace that used to stand here, those are included. I just wanted to give that little bit of personal aspect and that personal element to Mario Ray's game. However, if you don't want that, then by all means, leave it out and it will replace it with something else. Still on the topic of the custom content, with Felix Andre's custom content before the update where we could move doors and windows to whatever section that we wanted, they uh, came around this by using the same model for windows, duplicating it on a two times tile and a three times tile. So it will look like there's two like w duplicates on windows now, especially because we have free placement. And I still need to go through my custom content list to get rid of the ones, the three times tile ones, because we don't need to have the windows centered anymore because hurrah, they gave us alt placed windows, which is fantastic. And what I did notice when building this is that if I put two three placed ones to get as close together as if like I did with the two times one placed together ones, oh, um, then there'll be like, the wall would be cutting through and showing through the glass. So that's the only reason why I don't ever remove those windows. In regards to my channel, I just want to say hello again to all the recent subscribers. It's crazy, even though I'm not posting that much, I am still gaining subscribers. So I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has clicked that button. And for those who haven't, there's like 97% of you haven't, please do click that subscribe button. It's really, really giving me the motivation. Every time I log onto my app and seeing more comments, seeing more likes, and then seeing more subscribers, it's brilliant to see and it's really really nice which is why I want to get more content out and I want to get more videos for you and hopefully they're going to be as impressive without tooting my own horn as this build for you is now. I've been thinking a lot about what sort of Sims 4 content that I do want to bring to the table and I think what sits with me is speed builds because I like to be able to just record it all polish it all off, not have to worry about what the camera's doing and what I'm going to have to say about this. And then just literally standing up here 
talking to you, talking about what's not coming to my head, seeing what the video comes to like, whereas I'm not, I'm not an energetic, well I am in real life, but when the camera is on, I like to be calm because I tend to go a million miles an hour. This is where I like to sit and Sims for me has always been somewhere that I can just sit, not focus about the world. Yeah, I build fast and do things fast, but when it comes to real time building, I'm quite relaxed and quite chilled. Like these sort of videos, I'm quite relaxed, I'm quite chilled and it's quite nice for me because it slows me down a bit. So that's why I think I'm gonna go more of the speed build things for Sims 4 content. I was thinking of doing in the future, maybe a Sims 2 Tuesday sort of scenario because I don't actually, unpopular opinion, play any gameplay for Sims 4. I just build. And that is just, that's my preference. I, however, play The Sims 2 gameplay. I've got several legacies on the go. I'm doing a gender swap, um, Veronaville, because I was inspired by Pleasant Sims's Pleasant Views gender swap. And for me, personally, I've, I want an easier game. If you learn creativity, I don't want you then to then have to learn piano, violin, painting, writing. I don't want this just for me in my head it's too much. Whereas the Sims 2, there we go. Creative, you are now good at everything. I know some people don't like that and that is an unpopular opinion. But for me I don't want to have to grind to get skills up or grind to you know grind to get skills up or grind to get some like my sim to the top of their game because I want all my sims to achieve the best quickly and be the best. I know this video is all back to front, jumping in and around and all that sort of stuff, I'm sorry about that. I am trying to get better with this but I've just, um, I'm watching the playback through on my screen down here and basically I've just noticed that I do cut out a lot of the bathrooms and I do cut out a few of the bedrooms and I do cut out like the main landscaping I'll show you little bits of it and then next group like the next scene you will see it all in one go that is mainly one to keep the video short because as you can see the video is over 30 minutes long I'm grateful for those people who do watch and I'm grateful for those people who do like to watch uh, speed builds I'm calling you out I know who you are and because you do let me know and one of the biggest things I have found um, what I love about this community is that I was always so, like ashamed to like share my sim stuff with like my personal family and like my friends because so I just thought well it's just a game it's just what I'm oh it's just sims whatever but I've since opening up my personal socials and combining them with Lord Crump's socials uh, I've had a lot of overwhelming support from friends and family so I just want to say thank you to all of those as well and the biggest compliment I've had with that is like people are my best friend she's just started playing sims which is incredible because I get to talk to her about her builds and about her family and I get to talk to her about certain things about sims that I've not been able to talk to her about because she's never been a sims player it's always been I've always felt like it was me and my own and then people at work, they're talking about it as well. And they're like, oh, I play Sims. And when I put that teaser video out, I've had people comment to me like, oh, wow, my builds aren't this good. And I didn't even know they played Sims. So this is a shout out to them. So thank you very much. Again, you know who you are. And Tiffany, what stuck with me, and I just want to say thank you. I'm sorry, everyone. I just want to say thank you because she turned around to me and was like, I was actually pleasantly surprised by her first build because um, my first build was not like that at all and she turned around and was like that's because I watched a couple of your YouTube videos and watched a couple of your buildings and learned how to build that way and for me if I help one person with my videos then that's why I want to do it for uh, I'm not here for the fame I'm not here for the money because why would you do that because yeah it can be lucrative it can be good and all that sort of stuff but do something what you enjoy when you don't feel like you're working and I enjoy making videos and it's just those comments those comments from like people like from complete strangers sorry brief intermission one I've got in my, my chat with me here yeah, baby he always gets in the way 
of me when I'm trying to record. Like I said earlier, he normally sits on this chair when or on my lap or whatever like that. But he's a big fat cuddly bear and he's not fluff either. So hello. You can see yourself. That's you. I just want to say again, thank you to everyone that is joining the family and joining the Crumpet family. It's hugely motivating when I see the subs grow. So again, I'm plugging it again. If you haven't subscribed, then please do hit that subscribe button. It's keeping me going. My plan is to, as I say, to do a weekly video. Hopefully I can get it as impressive as I've said that already. Why am I repeating myself? You're distracting me. With that being said, I can hope I can continue providing decent content for you to watch uh, if you like this style of video or if no I'm not gonna say that I say that in every bloody video I'm not gonna do an outro for this video this is gonna be my outro so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the last 10 minutes of the video and I will speak to you again soon take care see you later stay safe you know be vigilant be safe and have a good day night or evening wherever you are in the world bye
it's been forever since I felt anything I didn't know I would need someone like you I didn't know you made me feel the things I do and now I know it's been so very long cause it's been forever I felt anything So watch out When love gets a hold on you You can't go back That's right Now when I found you I can't let you Out of my sight Don't go My heart and my soul Have finally come alive So now I'm All yours I think that I'm going to hiding Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade
some gates never get to open cause it's too late i could be the one who saves you from this place baby they ain't never gonna find me find me find me Where you're coming from A heart 